Okay, um, this is a, uh, a Gibson banjo. When I purchased it, I originally thought it was made around 1934 because of the dates uh, at that time were probably not quite as accurate um, as they are now. So there's been some people that have been doing some investigation and into the dates of manufacture of many of these banjos. And so this one has been sort of revised back to somewhere around 1930. So um, and this is actually a, a very, very rare banjo. Um, this was originally uh, built in a plectrum, uh, means, meaning it was a four-string banjo when it was first uh, built from the factory. And um, now I've got a five-string neck on it. Um, there were only about 37 plectrum granadas made. Um, that's the total number, total figure. And um, there were, I believe, a few tenors and maybe just a few five strings. I think the total number is maybe around 50 some odd banjos total uh, of, this, of this particular type that were made. So it's a particularly rare instrument. Um, and it, it's sort of the holy grail of, of banjos because this is the exact same instrument that, um, that Earl Scruggs played. And this was, actually that's one of the reasons this banjo is so valuable is because Everybody wants to sound like Earl Scruggs <laughs> to some extent, but that's a banjo player. And uh, although that's a broad statement, of course, but uh, people that are interested in that kind of style and that sound are always looking for a banjo that sounds like this. So uh, Scruggs was um, uh, very lucky to get that, a banjo of this type. He um, started out with a Model 3, which is a, a mahogany banjo, and then traded that particular um, banjo and I think a guitar or something, and ended up with the Granada, which is like this one. And he played that pretty much his whole career, and I think most every recording that he made was, was done with a Granada. And uh, it was made, that particular Granada that he had was made about a week or two after this one. So these all came out of the same batch. And um, his, 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 his was made actually as an original five string, this was a four string, as I said. So particularly rare banjo, different, different, just a different kind of sound than almost any banjo that you can find, and particularly desirable. So um, it's a very rare instrument, and I've had it for about 28 years. <laughs>